how the final line of Battlestar Galactica series finale was changed. And this is an article from Sci-Fi with a Y. This is the epilogue part. This is the closing, closing moments. Very end with Messenger, Gaius, and Caprica 6, their Messenger counterparts, Messenger slash Angels slash whatever <laughs> you refer to them as. This was interesting because the final line could have been different of their interchange. So we have at the very end of the show, flash forwards into the future, which is our present. And we find the head, it calls them head ghost slash visions of, of Gaius and Six walking the modern day streets, taking in the sights and having a chat about humanity and how it's evolved yet again. The aired version plays out like this. So Six says, that too is in God's plan. Guy says, you know it doesn't like that name. And then he says, silly me, silly, silly me. And that's how it ends. But it could have been different. The original scripted version would have had him say, I guess in response to her saying, that too is in God's plan. He would have said, you know it doesn't like that name. In any case, it would require mankind and all its flaws to learn from its mistakes. And Six says, stranger things have happened. Then Gaius responds, I think I'll take that bet. What are the stakes? Silly me. And the article says that it's similar, but this is very different. And I kind of like the original version better. I don't know, what do y'all think? Prior to the little snippet that they uh, detail here, they're talking about, you know, all this has happened before and likely again, because this reminds them of the cycle of the war against technology and AI and war against machines. And it looked like our present day was going along that same path. And Six says, well, I'll bet not this time. I bet that it won't happen this time. And she cites the law of averages that let a complex system play out enough times and eventually something surprising might happen. That too is in God's plan. So that's how that prefaces that little snippet. And I think it would have made more sense for him to say, I think I'll take that bet <laughs> because it would require mankind and all its flaws to learn from its mistakes. So I don't know. What do y'all think? I kind of like this original version better. It kind of flows better with the conversation about will the cycle happen again? Will this happen again? And she said, I bet not. And I think it would kind of make sense for his character to say, I'll take your bet. Because I always did think that was an interesting line. That after him saying that, you know it doesn't like that name. Uh, K. Roberts, the second version doesn't seem to recognize that all the humans were now part Cylon. Mitochondrial. They just finished talking about that. So I think it just meant the cycle in general of making technology that would eventually destroy the civilization again. Humanoid civilization. Fletcher White, I like the revised version. Okay, yeah. It was simple. Kept it simple. Iman Holland, the ending to the series was already alluded to in the imagery. They didn't have to specifically talk about the cyclical nature of history. But I feel like they were already. That, that's the thing. They were talking about what does this... They're walking around the streets. There's like debauchery and a couple of other things that they were looking at. Unchecked technology. Uh, that was one of the things. And what does this remind you of? And Guy says, well, take your pick. Caprica, Earth, the, the prior Earth, Kobol. I think too. And yeah, so we just listed it off. That is interesting because I always felt that it was a little cut short, I guess, to begin with. But, you know, it's mysterious. So that was interesting. I guess it didn't need it to say it. But I could see him saying it, though. That's the thing. I could see him saying, I'll take that bet. I could see humanity going down that road again. The cycle of violence to return. It is simpler and sometimes less is more. So that's probably why they went with it. And I get it. But when I read that, I was like, I kind of like the version. I kinda like both versions. It's, it's not bad at all. I do think it was cool for them to end it on these particular characters. I thought that was a very intriguing and mysterious and fitting way to end it. So they were supposed to have a Battlestar Galactica. It was not a reboot but it was supposed to exist in the same universe as Ronald D. Morris. I haven't heard a single thing. I guess it just disappeared. Any work on that? Because the last thing I heard was that their writer 
left the project. The showrunner had still was still there, and since then there was nothing, no information on it. And then obviously world events happened, and I just don't think they're moving forward with it. And obviously, with writers and actors strike, that will continue. So that may be good news for people and bad news for some people if you are looking forward to more Battlestar. But maybe it worked out. I don't know what they even had planned for it because they didn't get that far into production. So 